what's up? It's Tati and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have my August favorites and this is kind of more just like my current favorites because I loved all these things during August, but I also loved them the whole summer and I really haven't done a favorites video since January, I believe. So this is definitely a compilation of favorites from this summer and mostly just this summer. But yeah, without further ado, please subscribe if you're new that rhymed. Um, we are going to get straight into it, so let's go. My first beauty favorite this month is the By Terry Balm de Rose. This is like a super high-end lip balm, and this is the 10th anniversary edition, so it is limited edition, I believe, but it is just so, it smells like roses, and it's super, just like a really nice satiny texture, and it just, it's so nice on the lips. It gives them a perfect little pale pinky sheen and I have absolutely been obsessed with this. My beauty favorite is also a lip balm. This is just the brand Chapstick and it has an SPF side and a nighttime side. For bed, I'll usually use this nighttime side because it claims to repair your lips and moisturize them throughout the entire night so I love that before bed and then when I wake up in the morning I'll usually put on SPF side because obviously I want to protect my lips and I just really like it. It's just a nice chapstick texture. I've been using it every day and loving it. My favorite perfume this month has been the Lucy Bees Apothecary. This is the Tropical and Gardenia Perfume Oil. I absolutely love this to just throw on whenever. It's super easy rollerball. And the smell is just as it's called. It smells super tropical and summery and, and like gardenias and it's just super sweet. It's a really sweet scent. My next favorite this month is a hair spray. It's a multi-benefit beauty treatment. Um, it's for all hair types. I just spray my wet hair with this and then brush it out and it smells so freaking good. It's honestly my favorite scent ever. Like nothing I can think of smells like this except for this Brazilian like yogurt drink. I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's like citrusy, it smells so nice, and it's called We All In One Milk. It better not have milk in it. It just leaves my hair super silky and soft and gives it a really nice texture, so I've been absolutely loving this. My absolute favorite of all my favorites ever, this is Biafine Act, and this is a lotion that I got in France. I honestly have never loved a lotion this much. I can't read French, so I'm not really exactly sure what it is, but my aunt suggested I get it. I got it. I've been using just the tiniest little pea size amount every single night before bed once I get out of the shower, and it just hydrates my skin, and it really, supposedly it has something in it that just like, helps heal breakouts and scratches and anything. I honestly think this has helped so much with the redness on my face. Since I've been using this, my skin has cleared up so much. Like right now, I'm only wearing highlight and blush. Like I have no concealer, no foundation. I honestly think it's because of this product and because I'm not eating dairy, but this is definitely something I think that's playing into it. My next favorite, oh, I absolutely freaking love this stuff. The Becca and Jaclyn Hill collaboration face palette. You guys have probably seen this everywhere, but I got it because I freaking wanted it so badly. I have been using this so much. I mostly use this blush, which is, the, which is Amaretto, and I use Champagne Pop. The other colors I don't use as much, much. But this mirror, I would honestly buy this palette like a hundred times just for this mirror. I do my entire face using this mirror like every single day. I'm obsessed. I love it. This highlight is what I'm wearing today and it goes with every single look. Yeah, I'm in love with it. It's so pigmented. It's so beautiful. It just glows and I just look so glowy and I love it. That is one product that I believe is so worth the hype. Okay, my dudes. My next favorite is this candle and it's from Bath and Body Works. I started burning this in the beginning of the summer and then I left for two months and I just came back. I'm back in Hawaii, if you guys were wondering. It is called New York Beautiful Day. It smells like a beautiful day. Like, that's exactly what it smells like. So many delicious flavors. It's a perfect candle. Perfect for like summer vibes. Since we're going to fall, I probably am gonna not burn this as much, but, but I definitely loved it for the summer. Woo! My next favorite is my Apple Watch. I've been using this every single day 
I don't even know why it's not on for the past month at least. I love it so much. I love seeing how far I've walked. I love being able to tell my heart rate when I'm working out. I also love being able to reply to texts really quickly. If I'm like scrambling and don't have my phone, I can just be like, yo, la 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 and it'll send as a text and I think that's really cool. This is the smaller size. My next favorite is this brandy little backpack. And I wore this almost every single day in New York City. It is honestly just the perfect backpack because it goes with everything. I got it last summer, so I'm not sure if they still have them, but they definitely have similar ones. I think it's the perfect size. I could even throw a pair of heels in this if I needed to, if it's my water bottle, like my big water bottle. Like, surprisingly fits my big water bottle. Perfect when you're going out. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's just the best bag. Along with the bag, I have this new little puffball keychain that I got. I put it on my keys now that I'm home, but look how freaking cute. It's just been on my apartment keys. It just looks so freaking cute. Like the dark green color with the black. I just love it. It's oh, so soft. This is from Brandy, by the way. I love it. We had to do this poetry assignment last year in school and I actually really enjoyed reading and researching and, and annotating and depicting what these different poems meant to me and the underlining meaning and I just found that all so interesting and also writing my own poetry. I've been really into it lately. This past few weeks I've been dipping into Milk and Honey by Rupi Carr. My best friend suggested it to me and she loves it and I love drawing and I love this poetry so the way I annotate it I'll just kind of draw what I feel when I read the poem and I will also just write little annotations or what I think certain parts mean of the poem or just the message and I really love this book. It's super intense but it's passionate and if you like intense and passionate then I would definitely suggest this book. My next favorite is a food item. These are the Trader Joe's seasonal kale chips. They taste cheesy and delicious. There's no cheese in them, but they are so good and crunchy and salty and it's the perfect alternative to having chips. I just think these are so good. I have tried so many kale chips, so many, and these are the best, hands down, the best ones. I literally have probably gone through 20 bags of these and I brought 10 home. I brought 10 bags of kale chips from New York City to Maui so I could have these because we don't have Trader Joe's. These are so good. It's a really acquired taste, so you might hate them and be like, the heck, like, why does she like these? But I freaking love them. My next fave are the Dan Smiths. I've been wearing these literally every single day for the past, like, two months or so. I really, really, really love them. They go with everything. They're just perfect for walking around. I totally swapped out my superstars for these. I just love these. I think they're a little bit more... I don't know, they just give the outfit such a cool look. So my next favorites of this month are YouTubers. I thought I would include this because we're on YouTube, like we always want to find new people to watch, like I got you, like you guys have got to check these people out. Uh, my first favorite YouTuber this month has been Claire Michelle. She's a vegan, what I eat in a day vlogger type of YouTuber. She's so genuine, she's so happy, she gives such good vibes, and I just absolutely love her. You guys have got to check her out. All the people I mentioned, I will have linked down below. My next favorite YouTuber is Lara Lee. She's so good at makeup and she's so funny and her accent just gives me life. Like her videos just always make my day. I've been really loving her. Woo! And my last YouTuber for this month is Bonnie Rebecca because her videos are so good. She's another type of like Claire Michelle vegan YouTuber. She's so funny and sweet and just like a ray of sunshine. So I love watching her videos. Oh. My favorite movie this month is Suicide Squad. The movie itself, it does have a few plot holes. It's not the best movie, but I just love, love, love Harley Quinn and Joker. Like, they're the reason you guys should go watch the movie if you haven't yet. They honestly just make the whole movie. They should make a movie about just them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is it for this month's favorites. I hope you guys found some new products or new items and comment below any videos you guys would like to see from me i love you all please follow me on instagram please 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 my instagram is at trinksby and i just love posting there and interacting with you guys so follow me there for sure and i love you all and i'll see you in my next video peace